Good morning. So today we're going to be talking about impromptu speaking. This is the first video in this series about impromptu. I'm going to walk you guys through step by step um, what the event is, um, how you prepare for it, and then finally some tips on when you get to the actual performance. Uh, so first of all, what is impromptu speaking? Um, impromptu speaking is one of the many events that we do in the forensics community. Um, and impromptu, the word itself means uh, on the fly, on the spot, something that you do without much preparation. And while we are going to prepare for this event, it is true, you will be required to get up um, and speak without preparation in front of an audience. Um, so I'm just gonna go over basically now the rules. So it is a seven minute event. You can use any amount of that seven minutes to prepare. Obviously, you want to prepare as minimally as you can, um, so you can uh, spend the maximum amount of time speaking. So generally, and we advise students to prepare for two minutes and speak for five minutes. Uh, this way, um, you give yourself adequate time to write a quality speech. Uh, but you spend the majority of your time actually speaking. And so what are you speaking on, you might ask? Well, um, there are a couple different areas. Uh, you might receive a quotation. Um, you could receive an abstract noun or adjective. You could receive a phrase. You could receive a kind of an introductory sentence. Like when I, when I grow up, I want to be... Et cetera, et cetera. So there's any poss any number of uh, possible uh, choices that you might get, um, and you'll always get three options. Um, typically, there'll be three quotations, three abstract nouns, three phrases, anything along those lines. Uh, you won't get one of each different kind. Uh, so when you go into a room, uh, when it's your turn, you'll be typically given an envelope or some kind of slip uh, with these three options, um, and you can bring a note card. You can't bring it up with you when you speak, but you can bring it to prepare. And then you'll use this to take your notes and write out an outline, okay? Um, typically, uh, impromptu speaking follows either a four or five paragraph format. A similar way in which you'd write a five paragraph essay in class, you have your introduction, you have your two to three body paragraphs, and then finally you have a conclusion. Now, there are specific things that you'll do within each part of the impromptu speech, uh, but this is the basic structure that you'll follow each time. Uh, so after you get done preparing for two minutes and you've got your outline written up, You'll stand up and you'll, you can hold your quotation. So one thing you can hold, you can hold on to your quotation or topic. Uh, typically, if it's a longer quotation, it's good to have it up there with you so you remember it. Uh, but if it's just, say, for example, example you get the color yellow, um, you don't need to bring that up there with you. You can remember yellow. Um, and so that's the basic overview of the event. That's how it works. Um, in the next video, we're gonna go into details about uh, more of the specifics of the different type of topics and how to interpret them. Uh, but I just wanted to give you a quick overview and I'm excited that you've chosen to do this event. Um, if you look below you in the description of this video, you'll see the quiz to take on uh, this topic to make sure you've understood what we just talked about.